Oi there, matey. Have a seat. I saw you be wanting to know more about old Grim, eh? Since when have you been the inquisitive type? Actually, never you mind that inquiry. You want to know more about the captain? How he came to be in the Sea of Thieves? Who am I to deny such a tale? Just shut your gob and let Grim tell it proper. Hand me that bottle of rum. <sighs> Fifteen men on the dead man's chest. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Drink, and the devil will do for the rest. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. <sighs> Born in Port Royal, mother was a French woman, bless her bones. A seamstress. Young and foolish when she met me father. I never had the pleasure to meet him. Mother wasn't sure if he was Irish or a Scot. To her, all the Englishmen, Irishmen, and Scotsmen were the same. He had a charm to him, though, that much I'm sure to. Enough to have me conceived out of wedlock. Was a sailor, he was. Swore to marry her upon returning from a job. Bloke never did return. Either he died or had more sense in him than to return to a... Pretty but overbearing woman. So she had me. Named me Jacques Grimoire. Très bien. She'd make me into a proper Frenchman. <laughs> At least that's what she thought she would do. Couldn't keep me in the schoolhouse, though. Ocean was in me blood, it was. Spent me youth polishing the boots of sailors and Royal Marines on the docks. Got work as a cabin boy when I was eleven. Left Port Royal and never returned. Most took to calling me Grim. Grimoire. A bit too much a mouthful for the English types. <sighs> Ten men dead, their bodies lay stark. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Four of the crew had the traitor mark. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Don't really know when I fell in with pirates. It just sort of came about naturally. One moment, we were at war with the Spaniards. Next thing we knew, war was over. Queen Anne was dead and a Deutsch had taken her throne. Bunch of bloodthirsty privateers left wanting to stand and make a life for themselves and serve no German crown. I, why not? That's how I came to fall in on that man of war. The dead man's chest. Oh, she was a sight me. Prettier than the antelope, though. Don't go telling her that now, Savvy. She's a jealous type. Crew is sixteen on her, and we were a fierce as hell wrought upon the waves from the abyss. Bosun was brained with the barding axe. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Gunny was hung from the mainmast racks. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. The captain of the dead man's chest, a fat bloke by the name of Keebler. One day he'd gotten his mitts on an ancient coin. Oh yes, that sort of treasure. He conspired to be rid of his fifteen crewmates, hire a new crew, and buy passage to the Sea of Thieves with such a treasure. But I got wind of his plan. Told the crew his intent to kill us all. Crew called a vote. They voted me as captain. And as my first order, we keel-hauled old Keebler. Took the ancient coin and bought a map for the Sea of Thieves. Fifteen men upon the dead man's chest. We could taste the gold. Oh, we could taste the gold. The cook been speared by a marlin spike. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. The helmsman silenced his throat slit like. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. We found the devil's shroud and the break in it to make a way for the Sea of Thieves. As we sailed into the night, I took watch. Let the crew rest, I thought. Be a fair captain. Pull me own weight. That is until I heard the murmuring come from below deck. A lot of them conspiring against old Grim. They planning on jumping me in the morning. Toss me into the shroud and make do without a captain. 
bastard mutineers, the lot of them. Bad enough I lost an eye to save their hides off the Florida Keys against that French brig that had hunted us for weeks. Damn my good eye. If I'd ever not been betrayed by the lot of them. The first mate lay in a pile of gore, yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Truly the ferryman knew the scar, yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. I had to do it, matey. Killed them all, I did. Every last one of them. There be no respite for mutineers. What was Grim to do? Let them toss me to the shroud. Have them rob me of my rights as captain. Don't you dare. Give me that look, matey. I'll take your eyes. You give me that look again, I swear it. Don't you see, matey? <laughs> Song's about me. The song be about Grim. All men dead, Lord, play him a hymn. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. All been killed by the Captain Grim. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Couldn't hope to helm a man of war by myself. Sure enough, she drifted slightly into the shroud. Stripped a chunk off her starboard hull, it did. By the time she made it out of the shroud, she was taken on a water faster than I could pump. She sunk just off the coast of the Thieves' Haven. She went down into the black abyss, never to sail again. Oh, what I could have done with such a vessel in this sea, lousy with only sloops and galleons. Spent me first three weeks on that isle, alone. Eventually, a galleon came about. Animal trappers, they was. While they were distracted, Grim stowed away. Jumped ship when they landed at Plunder Outpost. It was me last bit of gold to buy the antelope. And here you find me now, your captain. So, be your curiosity settled, matey? Or would you like to hear the tale about the nosy pirate who got themselves a dagger in the belly for asking too many bloody questions? No, figured you wouldn't. Be off with you now. Grim's gonna sit here and reminisce by himself for a while and finish off the bottle. Drink to the memory of a certain Captain Keebler and fourteen mutinous scallywags. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Drink and the devil will do for the rest. <laughs> Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Hold up just a minute there, matey. You got any tales to tell, old Grim? Maybe I'll pass them along. Tell the greenhorns of your adventures. I'd appreciate it. My tales aren't so happy, matey. This life, it ain't so merry. Aye, that it is not. You see more death and destruction out there upon the waves. It makes you appreciate moments like this. The normal ones. Shared a drink with a comrade. I <laughs> cherish them, matey. They be few and far between. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Drink and the devil will do for the rest. Yo ho ho and a bottle of